Alright guys, we're back for another beer review. This time, and we got the uh, JTV audience again down here uh, chatting at me. This time we have from Castle Brewery out of... Where are they out of? I don't know where they're from. They must be from Montreal or Quebec somewhere. Where are they from? Ontario. Oh, Castleman, Ontario. Okay, well, fuck that. Uh, apparently, I was totally wrong. I just got confused because they said micro brasserie on the bottom here, so I assume Quebec. Uh, so, sleeper card, double chocolate porter. 8.2% alcohol by volume. Sent to me by Guy from Beer Guy Reviews. Big thanks to him. Really appreciate it. Bottled on September 28th, 2013. So fairly fresh stuff, although uh, Guy said this one apparently goes really quick, so we're going to get right into it. That's kind of surprising, actually. Double chocolate porter, 8.2% alcohol by volume. you think it wouldn't go bad very quickly, but... Yeah, it's pretty dark brown. It looks like in the glass, the light coming through. I'm actually getting like, like deep ruby red colors coming in there. Mahogany to deep ruby red. Nice little bit of a brown hit on there. Go right to the aroma. coffee definitely it's um, sort of your like your mild uh, like standard Colombian roast kind of coffee there uh, the chocolate I'm getting out of it is like um, your semi sweet chocolates not your milk chocolate not your baker's chocolate just in the fucking middle it smells very good not getting any alcohol in the aroma. It's got just a very nice dry cocoa powder, chocolate, uh, coffee kind of thing going on. Nice little bit of roastiness in it. It's like walking past, um, you go in a grocery store, you walk into whatever aisle has the, uh, the, the coffee grinders in it. I think most grocery stores probably have that you walk into that aisle it's usually like the cereal aisle or some shit like that have the where you can grind your own coffee or whatever uh, and that's the sort of smell you smell walking by those things so that's pretty much what I'm getting out of that that smells really good definitely does not smell like it's gone bad so uh, uh, no no worries there Guy Ewart's back hello Ewart we're doing the uh, Castle Brewery's Sleeper Car Double Chocolate Porter. You missed the uh, Rogue, uh, Rogue, Rogue Voodoo uh, Donut. Okay, so we're going to write the taste, guys. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, Urt, uh, <laughs> the, the voodoo donut was uh, special. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Oh man, that's really nice. Nice full body to it. I'm getting a lot of semi-sweet chocolate right up front. <sighs> Finishes with a really nice Colombian coffee roast uh, that that's pretty much accounts for all the bitterness probably some hops in there as well doing that but <sighs> nice this is Florida bitch the sleeper car double chocolate porter from Ontario Man, oh man.
It's not particularly complex. Uh, it's a porter. You don't really expect it to be, really. Um, as for a big porter, 8.2%, I'm not getting alcohol at all. Um, I'm just getting some really nice porter-like flavors. It's definitely um, not so roasty that you say, oh, it's just a stout. Uh, it's definitely got enough sweetness backing it up to go porter all the way. Joe says, I'm, I'm not getting the alcohol, but sure as hell getting fucked up, apparently. <laughs> Am I looking that drunk on camera now, Joe? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> Man, that's really nice. And the semi-sweet chocolate um, in the finish with the roastiness of the coffee roastiness, uh, it starts to come out as like baker's chocolate, but not to the degree of the uh, Voodoo Donut, if you saw that review before this one, which you probably will. Um, old Greg says, I'm getting crab eyes now, apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, Florida Bitch says, you make it sound so good, you think I can get it at ABC? I do not know. I kind of doubt it. I think Castle Brewery is fairly small in Canada. I don't think it would uh, make it across the border, sadly. <sighs> That's really good. Uh, it's an excellent little chocolate porter. Um, well, not little. It's a big chocolate porter, actually, but it tastes like a little one because the alcohol is not there. Uh, man. Very drinkable. Like, look how I'm like sucking that down. That's 8.2%, and I'm just drinking it down. It's really good. I mean, it's it's not... There's no amazing flavors coming out. It's not like it's one that sets itself apart from any other porter, really. But as far as like tasting like a really standard porter, really good standard porter that actually sits at 8.2%, that's actually a pretty nice achievement as far as I'm concerned from a brewery. So a uh, really, really good job, Castle Brewery. Very, very good. So I'm going to say... Um, Sleeper Car Double Chocolate Porter from Castle Brewery. I'm going to give that a solid 4 out of 5. It is really good stuff. There's nothing bad about it. Uh, there's nothing really in it that jumps out and makes me go, oh yeah, 4.5 out of 5 or, you know, anything like that. But it just, it sits there and holds its own. It's really, really good stuff. And it's worth finding if you can get it. Uh, it's a very drinkable, basically Imperial Porter, really. Um... So cheers, guys, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.